my name is Randy Harper. I'm a local canvas resident, and uh, this thing is built in my garage. Proud to say it's all built in the United States. Probably the only thing here that is. And uh, my inspiration for this thing was uh, about 11 years ago. I saw a tsunami that that uh, wiped out about 76 people over in Thailand, and uh, gave me the willies. And I thought something's got to be done about this. And it just take me this long to actually to actually uh, do something about it. And a lot of people had to. A lot of people have died since 2001 when I was first inspired by this. So I just thought it's time to do something about it. Property over on the coast before, and uh, in places where there's only one direction out of there, it's uh, it's a little unnerving to know that you, your one plan of escape is possibly going to be uh, gone when that earthquake happens. How many cars could be on the road? If you're trying to get all out of them. There? All of them. I mean, think about it. You know, I mean. And plus the road, if you really like in Ocean Shores, where I was on the other end of Ocean Shores, uh, you wouldn't really stand a chance. You have about 10 minutes, you know, to get out of there. And, and high grounds, if you were starting at the end of Ocean Shores on your way out, you still wouldn't make it. So how, how many roads are out of there? One. It's right. a peninsula, so there's one road. So that would out. be the most common. An area like escape, that, but you know, how many people? You could be one of several hundred cars trying to get out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in your car, you're, um, you know, you, we've seen what happens. About eleven years of thought into it, so it's it's uh, it's not just tossed together. This thing is designed to be buried up to 32 inches deep in the in the ground. And uh, now, why would you want to bury something like that in the ground? What's your other thought on this rescue pod? Well, in a tornado area, you know, you you put a neck on this thing and put a good door, a good hatch going down, a ladder going down, you'd set it up different. Of course, we have one that's bigger than this that you could set a whole family in. And it wouldn't have racing seats in it like this, and this one's designed for more of a tsunami. But uh, there's all kinds of scenarios. So you'd have a safe room for a tornado. It's a safe room. It's a safe room. So it's, it's about a half an inch thick, high density polyethylene, and we've got a, a layer of, be, of a, like industrial strength bed liner over it that's Coast Guard orange. And uh, it's got vents in the lid. This is all Lexan. This stuff is uh, it's pretty bulletproof. They do that. You know, you can't. Uh, you're not going to break it. So all the all the windows and ports are Lexan. Right. It's vented at the it's vented here on both sides of the lid. And the uh, the lid holds down like a Jeep hood on the inside here. It fits down pretty snug. Once you're in, once you're inside, you can open and close the vents. And uh, it rolls nicely, and it writes itself because it's got about, it's got all the weight in the bottom. The seats are mounted down low, so that neck is always going to want to write itself. Yes, down. absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it, it, it writes itself right away. Uh, it's got uh, the tank by nature is, is heavier on the bottom, anyways, but uh, it's got about 10 cubic feet of flotation foam in the floor. And uh, there's the seats are mounted to the floor. There's racing seats with five-point harnesses in there because it's going to be a ride that you're going to remember. And it's hard to think about what might happen, uh, you know. But you're going to be at least sitting, you know. It sits pretty high in the Down water. About midships. Oh, higher than that. Higher than that. Okay. Yeah, it sits higher than that. Way higher than that. So, uh, and being round, it's just going to be bouncing off. Of you know, just to check out the seat belts, and we were so excited when we got the seat seat belts all hooked in there and got the lid all done that uh, we had to take it for a test run. So, the McCamas, so we went to Lackness Lake and and uh, walked up on the hill and. and my buddy Andy and I got in it and buckled up, and the kids pushed us over the mountain and down into the lake. Pushing helmets and everything in here, so uh, you get in and you buckle up. You got three days of food and water in here. There's all kinds of safety features in here. Uh, there's a bilge pump in case any water would come in. Uh, there's a spare air in there. There's uh, what else do you need? There's uh, life jackets, and this is um, I'm I'm trying to work with the Coast Guard right now to uh, to come up with the best way to lift this up with a helicopter. These are rated for 3,500 pounds. Of course, this thing weighs less than 200 pounds with nobody in it. Uh huh. And I've had uh, two guys in here at one time that both weighed over 300 pounds. So you're looking at six plus there, 800 pounds. You could lift from either side. Like sand windows up here. And and uh, those are not going to, you're, each, each person in here has got a seat looking at that window. So you can see out in front of them and both up uh, for signaling or whatever. But you know, you can see what's going on around. But you got racing seats in there with five point harnesses. 
uh, and, that, and you're pretty secure. You can't move. You got life jackets, uh, backpack here. It's got all kinds of safety stuff in it from whistles, lights, flashing lights, a uh, rash pump down here that, uh, that that leads all the way down into the, uh, an, an open space in the very bottom. Yeah. So if any water were to come in, you could get it out of there, and it's a one way it comes and out. And then here. you're vented out on the port here. Yeah. The, the, this hose just vents out here, and uh, it's a one way, so nothing can come in and only out. It's going to depend on where you live and uh, you know what's what's going on in your area. You might just be in a, in a high rising flood area, or you yep. might be in a in a really area that's going to really come in on your heart. Yep. It's pretty Sweet. simple. Get in, put the lid on, and buckle up.